So Nathan, just take us through the, the first goal, A-League goal the other night. Yeah, it was great to get my first goal for a great club and I think it came at a crucial time in the game. It was important for us to settle the game a little bit and you know, hopefully in the future I can do more and help the team out as best I can. How much of a luxury, I guess, is it to have someone like Johan Absalomsen um, feeding him forward? Yeah, he put me on a plate. He's an incredible player, incredible footballer. Great to have him back in the squad and, you know, if he keeps doing that, it's going to make our job a lot easier. Do you really feel like the coach has got faith in you? You've been playing a lot of minutes this season. Yeah, the boss has said that he's got confidence in me and I repay his confidence by working hard and giving everything each game and he's been really good to me. He talks to me all the time and tells me what I need to improve on. So no, he's been really good. The boss is great. And do you feel like even if you do make a mistake, which happens occasionally, that um, you're not going to get cut? That that you know he does have that faith. No, the, the boss is good. If if you make a mistake, he'll obviously pull you aside and say what you can do better, how you can improve, and then he'll give you the confidence to go again. And he said to me, you know, make plenty of mistakes, have confidence in yourself, and yeah, I think he's really good in that regard. So you're glad you came back. Pardon? To Adelaide, glad you came back. Yeah, of course. Um, to get more game time is fantastic, and I'm an Adelaide boy. I grew up loving this club, and to be back here is, is amazing. Did you ever have any doubts about actually cementing your place in the A-League? You know, because we talked about the background before, and you've had to maybe do the long way around. Yeah, I wouldn't, I wouldn't say doubts, but I definitely, over the past few years, I've had to fight for my position a lot. Um, I always had confidence that at the end of the day, if I keep working hard and I believe in myself, I'll be able to, to make it. And now it's all about continuing that and there's no stopping now, I guess. So what do you have to do now to make sure that you're uh, you know, a regular constantly? Yeah, I just listen to the boss, listen to my teammates also. I've got Issa and Addy next to me who are teaching me every day. I think it's about doing all the one percenters off the park. So stretching, recovery, eating well, and yeah, just continuously working hard. Which was a better goal? This one against Perth or the one against Victory in the Cup? Ah. I think the victory in the cup was a better goal, but I think in terms of our season, I think it was good to get this one in the previous game. So you've got a big game now coming up Wednesday. You can, you know, if, if you win this one, um, you'll open up six points, I think. Yeah. The Wanderers, so what's the mood like? And obviously there's an old Adelaide coach on the bench there as well. Yeah, the, mood, the mood's good in the change room at the moment. We recognise how close the league is at the moment. We know that a good result can put us further up the table, but I think we're just focusing on ourselves, we're listening to the boss, what he has to say, listening to the structures for this week and we'll go from there. Is, is, you notice that, I don't know if you've seen any vision, but he's gone on 4-4-2 for the last match, which is uh, blasphemy, <laughs> almost. <laughs> so have you, have you worked on that yet? I mean, perhaps that combination is going to face you guys? It's still early, we haven't done our video session yet, but we know that Giuseppe has a very well-structured team. He likes to play a certain style, and we know that we're in for a tough game every time we play his teams. So we'll definitely work on it over the next couple of days and we'll be ready by Wednesday. But it's not a certain style anymore because he's gone <laughs> Yeah, it's, it's interesting, but I think, like I said before, if we, if we stick to what we're good at, I think we can, we can beat them. Does any little part of you want to do particularly well this week, given that Gombo is the coach there? No, just, every game's the same for me. Every game's the same. I'm, I'll go out exactly the same way as I did in the previous game and do my best for the team. That's all, that's all I do. And as a midfielder, that means you know, working hard, creating chances and hopefully scoring more goals. How's uh, Danny's back, Daniel? He should be okay. Uh, I don't know because I'm not a physio, but his mood seems pretty good. And Vinny Lee, is he still like uh, a few weeks away? I'm not, again, I'm not 100% sure, but he was moving around today, which is good to see. So hopefully back soon. How much of a tough decision was it for you to, to decide to leave Adelaide given that you did grow up here and go, go north? Um, it was a massive decision, you know, moving away from home, moving away from my family, you know, an environment that I was used to and then, you know, going to a completely unknown city. It was a big decision but I think in terms of my football I think it was the best one I ever made. I grew as a footballer and I learnt from some great coaches up in Brisbane and yeah, I think it was the best for my football I grew. Yeah. It's two quite times. ironic that two Adelaide sort of coaches brought you back this way up there. Yeah, I, was, I think it was just all a bit of 
luck, I guess you can say that. And yeah, was, I, I knew Ross from a long time ago in the local league when he was coaching West Adelaide. I was a young boy at Olympic, and he he always liked me. He always I always confided in him and talked to him. He was really good to me. So to have him up in Brisbane was was a great help to me.